Hi guys, this is Harmony from Messengers of Mercy. I apologize for the hiatus for those of you who are listeners. We're probably going to transition to doing videos about three times a week for the time being, and hopefully we'll be able to go back to doing weekly videos soon. But today we're going to be looking at the story in Luke 12, 27 to 34 from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Consider the lilies and the wildflowers, how they grow in the open field. They neither labor nor spin wool to make clothing. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his glory and splendor dressed himself like one of these. But if this is how God clothes the grass, which is in the field today, and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? So as for you, do not seek what you will eat or what you will drink, nor have an anxious or unsettled mind. For all the pagan nations of the world greedily seek these things, and your heavenly Father already knows that you need them. But strive for and actively seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid and anxious, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions, show compassion, and give donations to the poor. Provide money belts for yourselves that do not wear out, and an unfailing and inexhaustible treasure in the heavens, where no thief come near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This passage in Luke has really been ringing true in my life in the past few weeks. There's been trouble with money, and oftentimes there can be a fixation on it. Um, you know, how are we going to make ends meet? What are we going to do? Um, you know, can I really work part time or do I need to stay working um, 40 hours a week, even though it does conflict with being able to see my family? And um, all of these focuses make all this focus on the earthly. And it takes time away from being able to spend time in God's word and focus on the eternal. And what happened was I was going through a moment when we were having a yard sale this weekend and it wasn't doing very well. And I was starting to get very frustrated. And I took out my Bible and started reading and I came upon this passage and it just, it really rang true because I realized how important it is to not worry about the earthly treasures, but to focus on doing everything for the goodness and glory of God. If you are kingdom focused, everything will fall into place. God will clothe you, he will feed you, he will take care of your basic needs, and he will always make a way. You just need to have faith. And that was the problem. I was so focused on what I could do I lost sight of what my God can do. And the truth is, our God, the big G, <laughs> he can do everything. He can do anything because he has created everything. And that's so important not to lose focus of. It is so easy to think about the things of this world, the troubles in this world. It's so easy to focus on the bills that are coming or um, things like our job or money or um, even just things like clothing, food, basically necessities. And if we really just take that focus though and we spent half of that time that we spend worrying and we spent that time studying the word and glorifying God, how much less anxious would we be? Because the thing is, the more time you spend glorifying God, the more time you spend reading the word of God, the more time that you realize that he is always taking care of us. 
he is always in the background. And you might not get that burning bush moment like Moses did, where God speaks to you in an audible voice. But God has a way of working through people. When you least expect it, and he has a way of just making things work out. If you need clothes, someone at church all of a sudden has a hand-me-down bag and the size that you need for your child. Or maybe you're running low on food and someone you know says, I know that this food bank needs volunteers and they allow their volunteers to take some food home. And God works through people. He works through other believers to help out his, his congregation, his, his church. And that's what's just so amazing. If you take a step back from worrying about everything and you realize everything that God is doing for you, it's a lot more easy, it's a lot easier to be kingdom focused instead of focused on stuff. In 1 Corinthians 10 31, it says, do everything for the glory of God. And that right there is the end all be all. Every single thing that we do should be done for him. Every treasure that we get, we should know is a gift from him. And we shouldn't hoard our treasure because there's actually another really great story in the Bible. It talks about a, a man who is hoarding, I think it's grain, in a barn. And he's so excited because basically he can hoard so much grain that if he does this, then he's not going to have to work in the years to come. And basically, um, he's told that he's going to die that very night. And it just shows that in the end, we come in with ourselves and we leave with ourselves. We take nothing with us. And we can have all of the gold, all of the treasures in the world. And it means nothing if we don't have a relationship with the Lord. Recently, we were talking with someone and they were telling us about Pompeii. And they were talking about how they, these, I guess, archaeologists go in and they were digging up the remnants of Pompeii and they were putting plaster casts in to see what these people were doing in their very last moments. And what's interesting is there are people that were hoarding jewels. There was one woman who actually had so many jewels um, that she was wearing all of her jewelry. There's another man that's reaching for gold coins. But the sad truth is, when they died, those coins didn't come with them. Those jewels didn't come with them. And if they didn't have a relationship with God, they're not going to a good place. So ultimately what it comes down to is having a relationship with the Lord, trusting that he's going to provide for you, and really just having that faith that no matter what, God will clothe you, he will feed you, he takes care of birds, he takes care of flowers, he takes care of these things that aren't made in his image. What makes you think he's not going to take care of you? So if you guys like this devotional today, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and like our channel. And again, I apologize for the delay on getting the devotionals out there. We do hope to get back on track with daily videos, and for the time being, about three a week. I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed day. And again, God bless, and just enjoy the day today. And may you do everything in it today for the glory of God.